Your deception is quite sophisticated. Sun Yun continues to activate his power to win trust. The people here give you all their faith. You have accumulated enough trust to create a myth. After a systematic calculation process, Sun Yun had created the first savior myth and was accumulating his holy magic. When Sun Yun activates the above myth, the salvation effect will be added when using good deeds to help weaker people. All abilities will be increased even slightly and a prayer effect will be added when worshipped by a cult. Your holy power will increase based on the number of followers. After saying everything he needed to say, Sun Yun quickly left. He flew through the air, going to the place where he passed out. He found the teleportation door here. This was also the first time Sun Yun had to go through such a long trial. He walked through the door, going to the waiting room of the 16th floor. The administrator's notification restrictions were all removed. Theot Huyad and Bak Hak saw him return safely and were extremely happy. The two of them once again invited him to their territory. Sun Yun felt extremely guilty for letting the two of them worry about him, but he would see the two of them later. Sun Yun looked down, thinking about holy magic. The holy power accumulated in his heart was simply a concept based on the cost that could be used for powerful mythology and many things had changed. Through apostleship, he experienced a pseudo-god state and was able to use holy magic directly. Sun Yun looked at the holy magic on his finger. After a while, his holy magic also turned black. Sun Yun heard that the reason was related to the power of the god of death. Sun Yun controlled holy magic into his palm, then he punched the ground hard. His face suddenly showed shock. Normally, the wall of the waiting room would recover immediately after receiving any attack but now it did not recover, or rather, the recovery speed was noticeably slower. Sun Yun finds his holy magic more and more interesting. Next, he began checking the rewards he had received on the 15th trial floor. He received the S-class unnamed god's protective bracelet plus when he was hit by an unblockable attack, special effects defense priority will be activated. When the defense priority special effect is activated, the bracelet will remove the effects of unblockable attacks. However, this special effect has a usage limit and the number of available uses is 4. Sun Yun also received the S plus rank nameless god gem when assigned a target and channeled holy magic. Absolute seal special effect will be activated. When the effect is activated, he can seal his opponent's strongest skill. In addition, Sun Yun also obtained the soul of promising apostle Gerhan Nevia so all his stats increased permanently. Strength has been increased by 4. Agility has been increased by 6. Durability has been increased by 4. Magic power has been increased by 7. And stamina has been increased by 3. Sun Yun absorbed one of the skills that the apostle possessed. He received the strongman's scream skill. However, Sun Yun felt dissatisfied with what he had spent. He decided to later offer it to the altar to increase his divine power. But soon, Sun Yun had to retract his words when he saw the notice board, successfully extracting divinity. Sun Yun's divinity increased again. Sun Yun continued to read the mission orders. He received quests from a total of seven administrators. Sun Yun had to sweat when reading them. Too many tasks were assigned to him. While he was pondering, not knowing which mission to choose, he accidentally saw a mission from the decaying world military administrator. The reward upon completion is being able to attach an item with an absolutely indestructible property, up to two times. The mission appeared right when Sun Yun was still wondering how to quickly restore the balance of the Blood Demon Sword because this time it was overused by the main soul. So, Sun Yun decided on this mission. The 16th floor's personal trial changed to the savior of the apocalypse. Sun Yun started the 18th floor trial. The topic of the current trial is warrior. The condition of passing the trial made a choice that Sun Yun would not regret during the trial period. The penalty for failing the trial was not there. Sun Yun was suddenly transported to another place. His whole body was in severe pain. The mission of the apocalyptic savior begins. The system had limited the equipment he could use and some equipment had been transferred to his initial inventory. Sun Yun possessed a skill that did not match the difficulty of the mission. All stats have been fixed at 50 and will not change until the end of the trial. 
However, the skills developed during the game will be recalculated after the trial ends. As soon as Sun Yun sat up, he felt nauseous and quickly ran out. Another character suddenly appeared behind him. Sun Yun wanted to ask her what was going on, but she looked at Sun Yun with disgust and said, Don't try too hard, I'll call the other teammates later. They'll be here soon, so just wait. What interested Sun Yun was the name she called him, she just called him Neil. In these apocalyptic savior trials, Sun Yun plays a character named Neil. Different from the roles he took on before, his physical condition is now very bad. Sun Yun thought carefully, he decided to fulfill his role in the body of this character Neil and did not hesitate to restore his body with the weakness. Not only the blood demon sword cannot be used, but all other items Sun Yun cannot use either. Luckily, his locker still had the items he had prepared in advance. In the collapsed tent, suddenly a group of people appeared before his eyes, they were talking with happy faces, showing concern when he had just woken up. Neil, thank goodness you're awake, it's truly a soothing miracle, as expected from an apostle chosen by the dragon god. Facing a group of strange people, a strange feeling arose in Sun Yun's heart, but he told himself to act naturally. Suddenly the system sound rang in his head, detecting many enemies approaching you. Sun Yun was startled and said, Who is the enemy? He looked around, apart from the unusual monsters, he did not feel that these people looked suspicious at all. He quickly activated the blindfold skill to detect enemies. This item will help you detect enemies through red marks within your field of vision. Although the people in front of Sun Yun pretended to care and worry about him, they were actually suspects with red marks that the blindfold item provided him with information. Sun Yun suddenly understood why many people speculated that this mission was mentally difficult. The whole group gathered in a small tent. Sun Yun was sure that they would not take action to destroy the gold. Fortunately, available skills or items can be used well in this trial. Facing them in the tent, he received questioning from them. Have you lost your memories? Neil, you have to admit that you don't remember anything, including yourself or why you're here. They were confused by his situation, then gradually accepted that it was due to the side effects of the medicine, so they had to explain everything to him in words. We don't have time so I'll explain quickly. A woman with elven blood opened her mouth with an extremely serious expression. Neil is a warrior as the only apostle of the Thien Long sect and his mission is to save this world. On the journey to defeat the Demon King, he and they encountered a serious incident. And that's also the reason why Sun Yun lost his memory. And those people also added that the Demon King is planning to summon the Demon God because the Demon King is a close person. If everyone lets that happen, the whole world will perish. In short, the only person who can stop that evil plot and rescue the decline of this world is the warrior blessed by the gods. After listening to the story, Sun Yun concluded that that was the cause of his memory loss. Therefore, the god-blessed warrior Neil was in an exhausted state but was forced by his teammates to join forces on this journey. Because you've woken up, and we've talked about everything important. They promised to continue informing you about what happened on the way to the demon world. And because he had lost his memory of his comrades who had fought side by side, each person in turn introduced their full names. The man in golden armor is Alan, the fake magician is Jeba, and the elf woman is Daisy. Alan was the person who was most open to him. He confirmed again if he really had amnesia, and noticed that Sun Yun seemed polite in front of them. He suggested that you should be intimate with each other. The old magician Jeba seemed suspicious of Neil's attitude. He commented that Neil looked calmer than he had ever seen him. Suddenly Alan's stomach growled loudly. He called Daisy who was driving the carriage in front and suggested that they all go hunting because they were out of food and if they didn't eat they would starve to death. A dead rat was thrown to Sun Yun. This mouse was hunted by his teammates during their journey to the demon world. What is being said here, although Neil was injured, he was absolutely not cared for like a sick person. In the midst of misfortune, there was luck. Thanks to that, Sun Yun was able to freely move as he pleased while they were away escaping from that cramped prison and trailer. He leisurely walked back and forth throughout the forest without fear of being caught. Suddenly, a large, hairy beast pounced on him. It intended to bear its fangs and tear him apart, but
but with his invincible ability and agile body, he quickly defeated the big monster with ease. He cut a big piece of thigh and sipped it deliciously. He was treated badly by his teammates. He was tired of eating field mice. Being around those people, he was also fed up with their behavior, like knocking on the pot in the middle of the night, making Sun Yun feel like they were really childish. Sun Yun must regain the initiative. Thinking so, he activated his Sun Blood skill. This skill can restore physical condition as well as magic power, speeding up the process of healing wounds on the body. Sun Yun returned to camp triumphantly. The atmosphere became strangely gloomy. Everyone looked serious. To break the heavy atmosphere, you talk to them first. I'll go out for a walk. Everyone came back from hunting today earlier than usual. The woman of Daisy's blood spoke first, approaching him with a threatening tone that said it wasn't good for his body to recover yet and daring to move around like that. Sun Yun made a clownish face, appearing innocent in the face of Daisy's menacing look. I'm lying in one place and it's so stuffy. But in fact, in his heart, he despised that the fact that he voluntarily left her sight made her uncomfortable. Jebba rushed forward, his hand holding his arm, his expression panicked as if he couldn't believe what was happening before his eyes. He immediately asked loudly, how could you recover so quickly? Sun Yun just replied that after a few days of rest, his body had become stronger, so he didn't flinch because of his question. He mocked the magician, the magician was startled, could it be that Sun Yun knew his abilities? He was trembling, his face dark. That golden armored man, Alan, relieved the two of them, urging them all to quickly go to the demon world to continue their plan. In the carriage, wanting to make sure Sun Yun had no doubts, the magician asked again if his memories had returned, but he kept saying it straight, avoiding trouble. After, suddenly the horse howled in terror. The pitiful cry and the horse's unwillingness to move forward made them have to continue walking. But the closer they got to the demon world, the more uneasy they felt. A horrifying scene was taking place before their eyes. In the demon world, there is always an atmosphere so gloomy that if those creatures just breathe it, they will immediately go crazy. The monsters that exist in the demon world are aggressive, brutal, terrifying, hit countless times and can easily massacre hundreds of people. Even the brave warriors who have faced countless difficulties and escaped the hell on earth all agree that, even though the warrior is strong, he possesses extraordinary strength beyond that of humans. It's usually difficult to survive in the demon world. The demon world is so scary, but they don't hesitate to enter it. Above all their own lives, what they crave is not only the demon king's life, but also fame, career and huge bonuses. In front of them was a skyscraper tower, towering and full of danger. The landscape is full of death and horror to the point of giving goosebumps, but that doesn't make Sun Yun hesitate. With overwhelming determination and courage, his expression was very calm. He calmly asked, is this the demon world? This question was funny to him, but it scared everyone. Could it be that the injury was so serious that Neil would forget the scene of death in this demon world? Originally, this was a place where, if not eaten by monsters, any warrior who returned would have an unrelenting obsession. Alan looked at him with concern. He implicitly confirmed that Neil really had no memory of the demon world. Suddenly the old magician came from behind him, holding a shining weapon in his hand. This was a weapon that Neil valued as much as his own life. Maybe Neil had forgotten, that old magician said. Sun Yun's eyes lit up. He didn't expect it to be a holy sword, a weapon that can destroy all things. Returning to the strange atmosphere of the demon world, there was a young man struggling to confront a group of monsters that came out of nowhere, looking very ferocious and brutal. The young man was breathing heavily, seemingly exhausted when confronting that brutal group. Having been fighting monsters for a long time, he thought things were getting better, but that was just his imagination. That young man was the administrator of the Fallen World Army. He is helpless with his own inadequacy because in the past, he was just a weak warrior, only desperately waiting for trust and help from his comrades. How could they leave him alone to face these monsters alone? He couldn't do that. That period of time was truly a painful time for him. Even if he died, he could not bear it. Groups of monsters rushed forward aggressively intending to attack his body when suddenly Sung Yoon rushed forward from behind. 
Sun Yun looks like a mighty warrior defeating an army of monsters. His appearance is confident and radiant. Ordinary people in the demon world would not be able to adapt to demon weapons, but how strange it was. Sun Yun was able to adapt so his spirit would not be negatively affected, and his mana was increased by two. With his enthusiastic appearance, his teammates underestimated him, thinking that he was hasty because he lost his reason and did rude things to the monsters. But because they stopped him so many times but Sun Yun didn't listen, they had to follow his wishes and cover him from behind until he was exhausted from fighting. And that was what he had planned all along. Sun Yun confidently showed off his ultimate skill, swinging his sword down on the beast's head, splitting him in half to the surprise and bewilderment that almost made him fall backwards. Because in their minds, the character Neil was seriously injured, not only did he forget the memories of his teammates, but his abilities might decline. In other words, they see that character as nothing more, nothing less. But now before their eyes is a mighty Neil confronting vicious beasts, something they did not expect before. Groups of monsters rushed forward to surround Sung Yoon, but he was not upset at all. He swung his sword at the monster. A ray of lightning flashed across the tip of the sword and then disappeared into thin air. Next, a huge explosion shook heaven and earth. The monsters soon fell into pieces and disappeared into thin air. That sword was a formidable weapon. Sun Yun was pleased with the sword's usefulness. He hoped that he would receive some hidden ability in this trial. After that battle, the atmosphere between his teammates and the character Neil suddenly became visibly worse. Since Neil woke up, both Alan and Jeba were wrong. A warrior was seriously injured and became so strong in just a few days that their morale was lost. Not only has Neil's physical condition improved, but his strength has also surpassed before. A shocking secret has been revealed. Our choice is inevitable, Daisy said with a serious face. The real reason Neil was seriously injured was because his teammates sold him out. They used their memories and power as a sacrifice to the dragon god. But what made them wonder was not only that, after seeing his fighting appearance today, they looked like a warrior who had been fighting for decades, full of experience and skill. Alan gritted his teeth angrily. He was jealous of the power that Neil possessed and said angrily, Damn, why is that, Neil? Why are you even stronger? Their faces are gloomy, no? No one is happy after that. Negative emotions come flooding back, anxiety, guilt, maybe even jealousy. The old magician's hands were shaking as if he was worried about something, extremely uneasy. Sun Yun felt the atmosphere filled with negativity, he couldn't help but wonder. In the middle of the night, when everyone was immersed in a daze, Sun Yun suddenly woke up and used his teleportation skill to fly into the air. He acted very carefully, so that people wouldn't wake up or discover his sneaky actions. Should we go up there? he wondered. Now his physical condition is at its best. To be able to use the instant acceleration power skill requires a lot of holy magic. Yet in just a short time, he was able to make good use of the skills that Neil had. In the blink of an eye, Sung Yoon flew to the top of the mountain, where he was curious about what was going on. That place was about 50 kilometers away from the camp where his teammates were camping. Yet Sun Yun only needed to snap his fingers to get there using his movement acceleration skill. This ability is really amazing. Sun Yun uses holy magic, uses internal energy to perform power, and accelerates instantly. He immediately teleported to the top of the mountain, where his eyes were directed. Sun Yun is sure that distance is 50 kilometers. He had traveled that far once before. But, this ability has a drawback. If there is an obstacle in your sight that is a wall, then you cannot get through that obstacle. On the other hand, thanks to this ability he can counterattack in an instant. Even in dangerous situations, this skill can be used as an escape tool. In this trial, that power has countless extraordinary abilities that Sung Yoon possesses. Next is the Holy Dragon Sword. This is the weapon that Long then personally blessed the hero with. Only when judging bad things will the dragon sword exert its full effect. For heroes blessed by the dragon sword, when holy magic is injected, the holy coffin effect will be activated. When the holy coffin is activated, light-carrying dragon energy will form around the sword. For urgent holy prayers, blessings will be activated. 
When activated, by making a sacrifice to the dragon god, the user will be granted temporary power. When confronting demons and monsters, the unique effect of punishment will be activated. When smite is activated, all stats will be increased by 7 against ghostly entities. When smite is activated, the character Neil can use the dragon's power to fight ghostly entities. When activating punishment, the character's magic power will not be consumed. However, the holy sword item will be automatically destroyed once challenger Han Sung Yoon leaves the 16th floor of personal trials and cannot be used for other purposes. And that is all the holy sword's power. Although it's great, it's only a limited item that can only be used in the 16th floor challenge. Sung Yoon thought, perhaps he should use the sword's senses and gradually absorb the energy of the holy sword. Thinking about it, he swung his sword and activated the Bloodfoot Tracker skill to penetrate the monster's territory. Soon, the monsters under Sung Yoon's feet were almost completely defeated. Sung Yoon landed on the ground among the monsters, planted the holy sword in the ground, and then the holy sword transformed into a new shape. That was the Heavenly Sword Island. He lay motionless on the ground, although his body could not move. But his brain quickly analyzed the situation. Why couldn't he control the direction of the shot and it exploded immediately? Then he discovered that the monsters attacked Sung Yoon from behind, making it impossible for him to use the skills of holy light or solar blood. He cursed under his breath, you bastards. Faced with monsters that knew how to combine magic power, Sung Yoon did not flinch and found another way. He realized that if his magic power was sealed, he still had another way, which was holy magic. He poured holy magic into his palm, creating a red earthquake, shaking the whole world. When Alan saw the red light from the campsite, he suddenly became extremely panicked. Sung Yoon discovered the great power of this weapon. The system continuously jumps to notify about the achievements of the 16th floor that Sung Yoon is on duty. Suddenly a notification to accept Long Than's disciple rang out, but to Sung Yoon, he was not very interested and straight up refused causing Long Than to continuously send suggestions, making him feel that this old man was really stubborn. Long Than repeatedly suggested that this kind of thing is quite rare, especially in Sung Yoon's case. This made the other administrators as well as the other gods feel amused by Sung Yoon's determination and choice. He realized that Dragon God was a god protecting this world, but Sung Yoon's experiences with the previous floors were not very pleasant especially since he had had his life threatened by a god before, so he wasn't really interested in that old dragon god's proposal. The mechanism of this 16th floor world is that, after choosing a hero to save the world, they give that hero enough power to do what that hero wants, but for you, you didn't like that idea at all. He thought that was the reason why the world was in ruins. So he didn't want to face or touch the gods. The golden armored Alan spoke first. I think there's a high-level demon training nearby. Hearing those words, Sung Yoon suddenly felt a little guilty and reassured Alan that maybe he was just imagining things. But Alan said that last night he saw a beam of light shooting from the mountain. The old magician Jeppa continued to help Sung Yoon out of the awkward situation. He said that he had read a document in the Magic Tower about strange phenomena appearing in the vicinity of the demon world and it was best to consider them as natural phenomena caused by demonic weapons. Daisy also followed the old man's words, logically speaking, there is no way any high-level demon would practice in this ridiculous place. Alan also felt it was right that every night, when everyone was sleeping peacefully, Sung Yoon himself had to try to truly use this holy sword. Even though I have to fight small monsters, it's not worth the effort. But thanks to that, he was able to skillfully use the abilities he considered necessary. During the day, together they moved closer to the enemy's gate. It was thanks to Sung Yoon's ability that his group entered the Demon King's castle so quickly. He urged them, now that the gatekeeper of the Demon King's castle has fallen, let's go in. In that gloomy atmosphere, he also noticed their changes. The three men's faces gradually stiffened because they were afraid that Sung Yoon's power was getting stronger. Opening the heavy iron door, we all entered. Behind Sung Yoon, Alan's voice was heard, Neil, you actually don't have amnesia, right? After the character Neil woke up, there was always a doubt in their hearts. 
But in response to Alan, Sung Yoon just said indifferently, Whatever you think is fine. The old mage was holding something that looked very suspicious, but he explained that it was just a rare strength boosting potion and he urged him to drink the purple liquid. He continued, You will have to face the demon king soon, so why don't you try drinking? Responding to the old man's enthusiasm, Sung Yoon only looked disdainful at the medicine, not sure if it was poisonous or not. His attitude made the goblin named Daisy angry. She loudly said, Neil, you are doubting us, right? He just smiled and told Daisy that receiving such a precious thing was truly touching. He tried taking a small sip, unexpectedly Sung Yoon collapsed. A stream of fresh blood spurted out of his mouth. The system continuously reports that you have been poisoned and you will no longer be able to use magic power. It turns out that it is a trap set by the teammates that Sung Yoon wholeheartedly helped. I didn't expect to receive such a tragic outcome. They also said they hoped Neil wouldn't hate them, because they had no other choice. Sung Yoon's sweat poured out like a stream. Even though he already knew the outcome, he didn't take any precautions in advance. Only now did he bitterly exclaim that my teammates were all traitors. Interestingly, while Sung Yoon was collapsing from poison, the dragon sword was lying on the ground, old Jeppa chanted a spell to seal the dragon sword to prevent Sung Yoon from using it. Sung Yoon couldn't help but be shocked and asked his three teammates when and why they betrayed the hero. Daisy shouted in reply, You think we want that? We've run out of options. While Sung Yoon was regaining his composure, the demon king appeared in mid-air, arrogantly smiling and answering on behalf of the three traitors. They were just making a deal with me, then he landed hard on the ground. Sung Yoon stood up and asked him if when the hero was weak after the battle with the high demon, did he approach the hero's teammates? The demon king wondered if his words seemed to be talking about someone else, not him. However, he still dismissed his doubts and affirmed that the hero's thoughts were correct. Thanks to that, Sung Yoon was able to understand in detail what happened. However, he still had one question. You asked him, but why didn't you kill him right then and there? He grinned and said, ah, because it's fun, right? His fire dragon eyes confirmed that it was true. You say people are boring, but that's not all, right? He laughed, praising his intelligence and telling the truth that this situation was his tribute to the demon god. Just like his many contributions made the dragon god recognize him as a hero. He is trying to become an official apostle. He insulted Sung Yoon that he had to go through all the hardships, hunger and cold to get here and the last thing waiting for him was death as a sacrifice to the demon god. Once completed, his punishment will be over. He was curious about how Sung Yoon was feeling, desperate or angry. He said words that seemed to pierce his ears, you should have kept an eye on your teammates. He haunted him again, viewing Sung Yoon as nothing more or less than a sacrifice to undo the punishment the demon god had given him. Sung Yoon's memories came rushing back like a waterfall. He trusted his teammates so much, but now what exists in reality is only betrayal and selling out. He thought that all of this was arranged by the demon king. He laughed excitedly at his suffering. Faced with a dangerous situation, Sung Yoon was forced to make a choice. While he was pondering, the demon king accumulated a huge purple ball, imprisoned his hands, and placed him in a large trap. He wants to crush you, the official sacrifice is taking place. The trap with thousands of sharp arrows crushed him, but that didn't stop Sung Yoon from flinching. The demon king prepared the ceremony, shouting the oath loudly. Demon god, as you requested, I offer you the blood of a hero. Please let me become your apostle. The system suddenly displayed a message saying that the demon god was bored as he watched the demon king pour out dirty blood. Sun Yun escaped from the demon king's trap since he regretted the demon king's foolishness when the system rejected his blood. I vomited poisoned blood and you dare to offer it to the demon god, he must be very angry. Having said that, he activated the holy light and normal people would make the best choice, but the demon king chose the stupidest one. They all stared in amazement at Sung Yoon's strength. How can he use magic power? Apparently they had already sealed the holy sword. Daisy stammered, not believing this was true, holy light, even though the holy sword had already been sealed. Even the old magician was very surprised when he witnessed the incident, 
how could he use the magic power of the holy sword? The demon king felt panicked before that virtual light. He was afraid, thinking that the holy light always looked so bright. Is he the hero I know? He threatened Sung Aeol that he should not dream of going against her ex. The demon king and Sung Yoon's teammates planned to sell him out, saying that if the demon king killed Dragon God's apostle and the hero, this world would collapse. He was tired of the harsh words from the demon king who only knew how to talk loudly. Therefore, Sung Yoon had to explain three points that others are misunderstanding about him. Maybe other administrators are very interested in this difficult encounter. First, you are not Neil. Second, you are not the true hero of this world. And in the end, he didn't care if the world collapsed or not. As he spoke, he gathered a large and large red sphere. The demon king was frightened by his power. It can be said that his power is so great that it can make this world disappear. Un, a huge explosion occurred in the demon king's castle. The scene was so desolate, this power was so overwhelming that the demon king was confused at what was happening. The demon king was weak against Sung Yoon's onslaught. He stammered threats but his attack power was negligible. Damn bastard, what are you thinking, didn't I tell you? I made a deal with your comrades, as long as I kill you, this world will be saved. Sung Yoon was not bothered by the demon king's threats. He shrugged and said that wasn't the demon king's death similar. The two confront each other, but in general, no matter who dies first, the demon god always has the ability to return. Because his apostles are always present everywhere, not just the demon king in front of him. The system announced that the enemy in front of him was telling the truth, he was startled. The context of this 16th floor trial is very harsh. Fortunately, this is just a scene in a trial, but if it were reality, it would be much more cruel. The demon king continues to scream, the world will collapse, there is still enough cause and effect for the demon god to descend to earth. Sun Yun was not scared at all by those words, so he asked the opposite, so what? The demon king was startled to realize that the character Neil in front of him was not a real hero. He immediately questioned to confirm the information once again, you bastard, you're really not a real hero. Even though you are not an apostle of Long then, how can you have that power? Sun Yun said contemptuously, I told you, but suddenly Sun Yun activated the punishment skill, and at the same time revealed his identity as a fake challenger. Sun Yun's eyeless, ferocious slashes were unleashed, and the devil's arm was chopped into pieces. He realized that the situation was becoming more and more unstable, so he quickly bent his legs and ran away. However, Sun Yun did not let him escape easily, he quickly chased after him. At that moment, Jeppa suddenly controlled the vines to hold his feet. He looked at him with eyes full of guilt. If he still existed, this world would perish. Then, there were thousands of arrows from Daisy aimed at him. She coldly said to Sun Yun, Neil, you're a hero, think carefully. Sun Yun didn't care, he swung his wings out, all the arrows heading towards him were pushed away. Alan immediately ran over again, using his spear to attack Sun Yun from behind. He always said on his lips, if Sun Yun lives, the dead will be them, it's better to let you die. Clearly, Sung Yun was in front of his eyes, but in a moment he disappeared. He gently leaned to the side, looked at him, and activated the combat concentration skill. Sung Yun suddenly turned into a blurry mist in front of his eyes. Sung Yun really couldn't understand what these people were thinking. He often told them that he didn't dare to sacrifice himself but still asked others to sacrifice for him. Sung Yun absolutely despises these people. They are not even worth Sun Yun's confrontation. The devil flew further and further away. Sun Yun quickly used Flash to chase him. When he was extremely gloating because he was about to escape Sun Yun's hands, Sun Yun immediately appeared and grabbed his hair, making him extremely surprised. He swung his sword and slashed his head. And at that moment, Neil's soul inside Sun Yun asked him, Is this your choice? He thought about himself at that time. At that time, even though he was seriously injured, he could only run away and the world fell into destruction. Then when he received the tower's call, he escaped by climbing the tower. The day he left that place behind and frantically climbed the tower, instead of those days of shame, this was the right choice. 
The system appeared in front of Sung Yoon and announced that challenger Han Sung Yoon's choice had been confirmed, and this choice had been judged to not cause regret. Sung Yoon successfully completed the 16th floor of the trial tower. As a stage reward, he can infuse complete indestructibility into an item given to him by the fallen army administrator. The people in this place don't know what's going on. The world before their eyes is slowly collapsing. Before Sung Yoon left, he left them a sentence. You guys didn't have the right to die easily in the first place. I hope you will die slowly and painfully with this world. After that, Sung Yoon disappeared from them. He returned to the waiting room on the 17th floor. The administrator of the decimated army was deciding on the reward for the trial, and he was taken to the hero hall. Sung Yoon looked around. This place looked like a temple to worship the dragon god. A mysterious voice rang in his ear. Not that direction, here. The man sitting next to the dragon statue appeared before his eyes. He said that he was a fallen soldier. The ruined soldier told Sung Yoon, the two of them had communicated with each other several times. The fallen soldier went straight to the point with Sung Yoon, he could ask him anything. The first question Sung Yoon wanted to ask him made him completely stunned. He asked the decimated soldiers why they chose him to carry out that challenge. You can fulfill your deepest wish through a fake challenge that you sponsor. The fallen soldier laughed. Now he understood why some of the gods were interested in him. He reminded Sung Yoon, don't misunderstand and don't think that all challengers are obsessed with climbing towers like you. Most of the other challengers don't have as strong an ability as you and don't have enough willpower to climb the tower. No matter how much they climb the tower, most administrators cannot see its end. Sung Yoon understood some of what he said, so instead of hoping to change the past through the tower, he saw possibilities that he couldn't through a trial like this. Although the army was devastated, although he wanted to deny it, Sung Yoon was right. He clapped his hands twice, other things will be discussed later, now, he will give you the reward. The special power of Dragon Than's equipment was challenged by Sung Yoon as the user and was completely indestructible on the A-level sword cave. It is completely impossible to destroy the great A true upper blood demon sword, and the consciousness of the true upper blood demon sword's main soul is slowly recovering. When the consciousness of the true blood demon's main soul completely recovers, a time limit will appear. Before Sun Yoon left, the fallen soldiers advised him to never doubt the tower, even though they all failed to achieve their goal. But Sun Yoon is good because, he is one of the few bright candidates that the tower is observing. Sun Yoon enters the waiting room on the 17th floor. All ability limits have been released. The stat increases and received powers will be corrected. Sun Yoon is currently holding the position of Dragon God's successor. Rank S an achievement he achieved when learning the skill of Dragon God. As a reward for the achievement, he received Dragon Powers. Chemistry. This makes Sun Yoon extremely confused as to why the tower created such an achievement. He thought the tower and the gods were enemies. Sun Yoon thinks back. The tower is not necessarily blindly hostile to all gods and there are even gods that the tower goes so far as to create achievements for themselves and the present. Sun Yoon is one of the important candidates. Sun Yoon is thinking that perhaps being chosen by the tower as a candidate means he has become a god. But not necessarily because these were baseless speculations. He had received holy magic, faced a god and he was actually growing towards it. The battles, the rewards, the growth. It was like the puzzle pieces in his head were being solved. Sun Yoon gradually realized that the tower's trials were a process to select challengers to pretend to be gods and if he passed that process, he would become a candidate and be guided to become a god. God. But all the things Sun Yoon said above are just one-sided inferences from him. Now then, he would test the newly acquired power. He activated his dragon transformation, his body immediately glowing. He really didn't expect that dragon transformation would actually help him transform into a dragon. The truth is extremely negative. Sung Yoon has the feeling that this appearance resembles a lizard god. However, it doesn't matter. The amount of remaining mana will double in 10 minutes. Dragon Clan's special features will appear in 10 minutes. All mana manipulation abilities will increase for 10 minutes. Sung Yoon felt extremely comfortable. Not only did his body change, his senses were also enhanced. He didn't need to use the fire dragon eye, 
he could still write everything around him, and above all, his ability to use magic had also improved. It also became obvious that he shouted fire. Sun Yun then turned off his special dragon transformation power. Sheng Wu suddenly appeared behind Sun Yun. As soon as Sun Yun saw her, he quickly took care of her health condition. Sheng Wu told him, although she didn't know what Sun Yun did, her sword pulse was much stronger than before. Not only that, now she could control the sword's consciousness. No more problems. She also doesn't know what Sun Yun did, but her condition has improved much. Sun Yun explains to her that he has instilled indestructible properties inside. Cheng Wu wanted to ask him how that was possible. But she didn't ask, there was no need to ask a crazy person who dared to fight against me. I know you're crazy, but it's more than I imagined. From what she heard before, Sun Yun was also just a fake challenge on the 10th floor and from a small dimension as well but just a fake challenge on the small dimension. Sun Yun is unusually strong and unnecessarily related to divine existences and she also knows some things. Sun Yun became impatient, he wanted to know something Cheng Wu was about to say. Just like the fallen soldiers said, Cheng Wu told Sun Yun, he was one of the selected tower blockade candidates. That's also why Sun Yun is involved with divine existences. She thought Sun Yun was normal, but it seems she was wrong. Sheng Wu looked closely at Sun Yun's face at this time. She guessed that Sun Yun would probably have a lot of questions. She placed her hand on Sun Yun's shoulder and said, What is the candidate, the purpose of the tower? Why are the gods wary of you? But I cannot meet your expectations. Sun Yun could understand what Cheng Wu meant, maybe because of the tower's limitations. Although Cheng Wu has an unpleasant personality, she also does not want Sun Yun to fail the challenge and die. She does not want his soul to be destroyed as well. Sun Yun was full of doubts, not only the administrator, but also Cheng Wu. The person in the upper blood demon sword was not allowed to freely provide information. Even though he already knew this, he still felt disappointed. Although Cheng Wu cannot answer all of Sun Yun's questions, she can still tell him one thing. Whether it is now or in the future, there is only one thing the tower wants from him. The tower wants Sun Yun to continuously get stronger and defeat all opponents, that's all the tower wants from him and the other candidates. Sun Yun fell into a space of thought again. If what they said was true, the tower had chosen Sun Yun from the beginning, but he was the only one who wanted to row up the tower. Sheng Wu continued to tell him, although you were able to row here due to your efforts, it also depended on the opponent the tower gave you. If the newly selected person is a candidate on the 10th floor, then it's no wonder he doesn't know. Sun Yun suddenly changed his decision. He would not ask anymore but would resolve all doubts himself when he became stronger. This attitude of Sun Yun makes Cheng Wu extremely angry. She feels unfair that someone like Sun Yun is not a child of her country. She was sure of Sun Yun, if he came from the martial arts plane, he would have become the strongest person by now. Cheng Wu controlled Sun Yun's blood sword to fly out, stabbing straight into the ground, his body emitting a murderous aura. She told Sun Yun, now she will act and asked Sun Yun to become her disciple. However, Sun Yun refused, making her extremely surprised. She couldn't understand why Sun Yun could refuse such a great offer. Wouldn't it be that if you learned the blood demon magic technique, you would be even stronger? Cheng Wu continuously shook Sun Yun's shoulder blades to make him wake up. If you can get this far, you must know the power of martial arts plane techniques. You should know that the exercises there are far better than those in the small plane. Cheng Wu screamed, she wanted to know why Sun Yun rejected her. Sun Yun explained to her, because he learned martial arts from an administrator, but if Cheng Wu learned special internal techniques that used mind magic, he would be limited to learning other things instead of that special martial arts movement. Cheng Wu paused. She wants to know who Sun Yun learned it from. He honestly told Cheng Wu, he actually had a master, he had a teacher-student relationship with an administrator. Cheng Wu couldn't hide his disappointment. He thought he had found a powerful student, but unexpectedly he arrived one step later than everyone else. Sun Yun raised a finger, he suddenly remembered something. He had learned a mind technique called the upper blood technique. Cheng Wu was even more surprised. Why could Sun Yun learn something that only the descendants of the sect could learn? 
Sun Yun didn't know how to explain it either, but somehow he learned that. The necklace Sun Yun was wearing glowed, and he was immediately changed into a new outfit. Cheng Wu looked at Sun Yun's current appearance and found it suitable and now she will teach Sun Yun martial arts. In short, the blood demon divine technique is not exactly a martial art, it is more similar to magic. The blood demon divine art has the ability to turn mana into blood, meaning you no longer need to take damage to gain health. Although Cheng Wu bragged about it as a peerless technique, it was a number of techniques, including using blood to heal or control blood. However, the problem is that it overlaps the story of the true pursuer and the bloodline that Sun Yun has. After Cheng Wu did it once, she asked Sun Yun to simulate what she just did. This was so simple, for Sun Yun, he started doing what Cheng Wu just did. Cheng Wu half believed, half expected. Sun Yun's power is crazy, even surpassing the power of the blood demon magic. Sun Yun had just finished learning martial arts from Cheng Wu and continued to want to climb the tower, he didn't even need time to rest. Because he needs to be stronger, so strong that no one can stop him, not even a god, Sun Yun enters the 19th challenge. The theme of the trial is massacre, the condition of the trial is that he must kill all enemies within the specified time and reach the end of the theme mart palace. Cheng Wu in the sword reminded him, it's difficult, you better be careful. You never know when you'll be attacked. Sun Yun immediately activated the fire dragon skill. He saw a total of six people in front of him. If the topic was carnage, then he was in a cave and if Sun Yun used the sacred coffin in the cave it would be disadvantageous for him. Sun Yun created a dazzling light, and the people hiding in the darkness revealed their faces. Cheng Wu rolled his eyes and looked at each of them. The people here included a mountain man, a Shaolin temple a martial artist, a demon god cult, and a triad. Cheng Wu reminded him that when confronting people from the martial arts world, he needed to be more vigilant. In addition, because the theme was massacre, he had to avoid being a common enemy or threat. Sun Yun seemed to ignore Cheng Wu's words, he arrogantly suggested that if they wanted to fight, they should all rush in at once. Sun Yun quickly entered the battle, he swept everything here. All stats will be temporarily increased to 3 on the 17th floor. Those who died at Sun Yun's hands were all attracted to his soul. Sun Yun with a dangerous look slowly walked closer. At this time, there was only one lucky survivor left. When he saw Sun Yun, he was extremely scared and begged Sun Yun to speak slowly if he had anything. Don't move your hands or feet. Sun Yun is not what he thought. If you fight, you must fight until the end. A straight sword slashed down from above his head. All of his stats continued to increase by one. The obstacles here were all cleared by Sun Yun in just a moment. He has successfully overcome the poisonous path of the Thien Mart Palace. The cave door slowly opened, sunlight binding the slide in. The system announced that Sun Yun had completed all conditions so the gate opened. Sun Yun pushed his spirit and walked out. No matter what problems arise in front of him, he won't care. As long as he gets a generous reward, it's fine. Sun Yun continued walking on the road ahead. The atmosphere at this time was extremely quiet and terrifying, there were still no obstacles to block him. Cheng Wu suddenly spoke up, she told you, I remember. Then, she suddenly appeared with a different appearance in front of Sun Yun, making him startled. Cheng Wu shouted, she didn't understand why Sun Sun Yun reacted like that. Sun Yun screamed in front of her, he reminded her that if he goes out, he should say something. You startled me. After that, he asked Cheng Wu to become smaller, like turning into a child. Cheng Wu laughed out loud, it was up to her whether she wanted to turn into a child or go out, but what she didn't understand was Sun Yun's reaction, why Sun Yun looked at her with those eyes. Sun Yun looked at Cheng Wu with half an eye, he returned to the main topic, you just said you remember. What do you mean? Cheng Wu looked at Sun Yun. She explained to him, Well, I remember where this place is and why the fighters appeared. Sun Yun suddenly remembered something. He lifted his chin and asked Cheng Wu, Sometimes the tower will recreate real incidents, is this one of them? Exactly as Sun Yun said, This place is Thien Bo Palace. She told Sun Yun that several hundred years ago, 
Sword Light was known at that time as the strongest martial artist. He stored countless martial arts secrets in a secret study, behind the 17th floor. Because there are so many strong people aiming for that secret, this place is always bloody with fake challenges. Furthermore, the martial arts he left behind can be suitable for many people. It only takes a short time for that person to learn some achievements from those martial arts. That's also the reason why there are countless strong people waiting for Thien Bo Temple. So Chung Wu advises Sung Yun to be careful. As far as she knew, one of them was a man called Genius. She still remembered the faint smell of blood on that genius's body. Chung Wu guessed that perhaps that genius was in Thien Bo Palace. The more he walked, the stronger the smell of blood became, meaning they were getting very close. Chung Wu also really wanted to remember exactly who that person was, but because it had been so long, she couldn't remember. Even though she didn't know who was stronger between Sung Yun and that person, but being careful, it definitely wouldn't be too much. In just a few moments, the two of them were standing in front of a place called Dean Thien Bo. The smell of blood in this place was not very strong, but she could smell it. Sung Yoon was extremely confident, he pushed the door and rushed in, he was sure that with Chung Wu he would end this matter himself. The door opened and Sung Yoon entered the Black Heaven Dao of Thien Bo Temple. The penalty for entering the Black Heaven Dao was activated. The internal energy meridians in the body and senses will be temporarily disabled here, and Sung Yoon's vision will become temporarily black in this area. Sung Yoon scrolled through the notice boards. This black heavenly path's punishment seems to be more severe. Sung Yoon has activated the adventurer's B-level light combat gloves adaptation effect. The internal energy meridians in the body will not be sealed. The mission board continued to appear before his eyes. Find your way in the dark. Only the first four people can escape from the Black Heaven Path. As the contestants are eliminated, the darkness becomes a little less. If so, Sung Yoon will activate the Fire Dragon Eye skill. Thanks to this skill, Sung Yoon has been able to see countless things that the naked eye cannot see. He saw a straight line leading to the exit. Sung Yoon said to himself, he can come out first if he follows this path. Sung Yoon knew that this was quite a difficult part of the challenge because all his senses, vision, and internal strength were sealed, but for him it was useless. Sung Yoon continues to get scouted. When the goal is achieved, all stats will be temporarily increased to 4. A shortcut to the final level will be opened. Sung Yoon looked forward with wary eyes. He deliberately asked, is that genius Jam Chung Wu here? Sung Yoon's response was still an extremely silent atmosphere. If that were the case, Sung Yoon would just kill them all. The system displays a notice in front of you, killing stragglers instantly before you meet them at the next gate. Elsewhere in the cave, a bloody murder is taking place. The man repeatedly used his sword to stab his opponent's body many times. His face did not feel guilty at all, but his mouth was still mumbling. This is the secret library that the strongest man, Sword Light Emperor, left behind. This man, don't underestimate him by looking at his shabby appearance. During his 60 years of life, he did everything to become the strongest. He reassured himself, he could have the martial arts secret sword of the Sword Light Emperor. And to get it, he will risk everything. Since entering this place, he has lived an extremely despicable life, taking advantage of the pity of those who spared his death. Then, take advantage of them not paying attention and kill them. Immediately after that, his expression showed confusion again due to the appearance of a character. Sun Yun had almost wiped out everyone who stood in his way, he aimed straight ahead. A chain flew from somewhere to his side. Sun Yun quickly discovered its presence. He quickly leaned to the side to defend. He rushed straight at the guy who wanted to attack him. Sun Yun stepped on the chain and ran to his side, simultaneously activating the skill elegant as wind. He pressed close to his face to identify him. The opponent in front of him was not that genius. So, another guy could die under Sung Yoon's sword. The despicable old man who just witnessed Sung Yoon's strength was extremely frightened. He couldn't believe his eyes. All the recognized sword masters of the martial arts world were killed by Sung Yoon. After 60 pots of Ban Chung, he developed extremely sharp senses something that could only be realized after coming close to death countless times. 
And now, he was sure of one thing. He could no longer escape death. He knew full well that he couldn't defeat Sung Yoon, so he once again threw away his dignity, kowtowed, and begged Sung Yoon to spare his life. This old fox would think that Sung Yoon would be weak-minded like those common guys. He pointed the sword straight at his head and coldly said two lies. Sung Yoon even said the evil thoughts in his mind. You told him, I have observed, the dirty tricks you play with others. Even though I am also very obsessed with becoming stronger, no matter how weak, no matter how hard it is I never do despicable things anywhere. He'd better die, the man's fresh blood splashed onto the wall. The system displayed a message in front of his eyes, he had killed all the strays, and had completed the special challenge of death's guidance. Instant and elegant acceleration skills like the wind leveled up, level B sixth pass skills leveled up. Sung Yoon continued to follow the blue line on the ground. When Sung Yoon wanted to ask Chung Wu something, he accidentally saw her excited expression. It's been a long time since she drank that much blood. Sung Yoon looked at her current appearance. It seemed that the important thing right now was not that genius but observing how strong the heavenly blood demon sword was after its development. Chung Wu seemed to read Sung Yoon's thoughts. She turned around and stared at Sung Yoon, the supervisor. Think of me as a tool. Sung Yoon was extremely surprised. Could it be that Chung Wu can read your mind? Chung Wu extruded anger. She scowled and said to Sung Yoon, Yes, I read those blasphemous thoughts of yours. She asked Sung Yoon to respect her if she wants to receive help. The door of heavenly light was opened at the right time. Sung Yoon suspiciously asked Chung Wu, Even if it's a shortcut, is a gate in the martial arts dimension like this okay? Chung Wu had never seen this before so how would she know how to answer? Perhaps it would have special conditions. Sung Yoon and Chung Wu continue their journey. The space here is extremely tense. Rays of light from the sky with destructive power continuously shine on Sung Yoon. Sung Yoon was extremely resentful in this situation. He blamed Chung Wu, jammed Chung Wu. I came this way because you said you could smell blood, but what is this? If this keeps up, we'll log out. Chung Wu looked at Sung Yoon's struggling appearance with great pleasure. This was the price for Sung Yoon daring to look down on her. A ray of light suddenly appeared behind Sung Yoon. He hastily activated the shield skill to counter attack. Sung Yoon almost thought he would die. Chung Wu covered her mouth and smiled. She told Sung Yoon, This is the heavenly world. The sword light emperor. The one who created the heavenly martial arts palace. Sung Yoon just feels angry right now. Looking at this you know what kind of person Sword Emperor is. Sun Yun screamed, he was a psychotic bastard. Sun Yun continued to activate the counter shield skill, but still could not withstand all the beams of light falling down. The counter shield skill was destroyed, making the counter attack useless. Chemistry. Sun Yun seems to be in a difficult situation. He has used up all the turns to use his counter attack shield, and now he can't use it anymore. He gritted his teeth. It seemed like there was only one way left for him now. He had to wait for her additional skills. Sun Yun wants her to destroy this place. But it seems that right now, Chung Wu is still extremely bitter. She keeps saying, the fact that people consider me a tool and not a companion, there is no respect at all. Sun Yun shouted, this was not the time for her to be angry. If he was hit by those rays of holy light, it would really be the end. Chung Wu was at the top more than he imagined. Sung Yoon had to throw everything away. He asked for her forgiveness. Chung Wu is temporarily satisfied with Sung Yoon. A series of skills are activated. She will give him a hand. Chung Wu and Sung Yoon cooperated to fight together. From now on this place is just a name. He activated the combat concentration skill. The user's concentration increased seven times. Sung Yoon simultaneously activated the holy light skill. The heavenly cave skill was activated. The sky turned upside down. The ground rotated. A corner of the sky lit up. A ray of light that seemed to be able to destroy everything shined straight into the sky, creating an earth-shattering explosion. The limit that can be destroyed has disappeared. Sun Yun panted and looked up. The sky in Sun Yun's eyes was like a glass that slowly cracked, then shattered, revealing the deep night sky. Sun Yun received the title of Dimension Beheader. The Light Sword Emperor was interested in challenging Sun Yun. 
Sun Yun beamed and said to Chung Wu, You think you and I have succeeded. Thanks to that, the Sword Emperor has decided that you can complete the inheritance test. Sun Yun also received congratulations from the God of Darkness. The Inquisitor God warned the Sword Emperor not to do anything reckless. The Dragon God said jealously, Why did he give him the inheritance test and not you? Sun Yun looked at each notice board with a distorted face. He also hoped they would all quickly disappear. Cheng Wu flew over and asked Sun Yun, What did you do to cause this commotion? When Sun Yun wanted to ask something more, it was also the truth that opened up. He quickly changed the subject, asking Cheng Wu to go to the next point. Sun Yun entered the heavenly dojo of true heavenly path. Different from the front doors, this place is extremely quiet. A sharp voice rang out from inside the royal palace. We finally met. You had a hard time getting here. I am the Sword Light Emperor, the one who created this heavenly dojo. You have passed through the hidden gate. Sun Yun walked closer to Emperor Kiam Kuang and asked her in confusion, what he meant just now was a gate. Sun Yun thinks that the test is over, he wants to claim the reward from the Sword Light Emperor. Sword Light pouted, she told Sun Yun there was still one more test, she called him here simply to see him. Sun Yun doesn't know how much trouble she's in when the other gods covet Sun Yun. Sword Emperor pointed straight at Sun Yun's face. She would teach him martial arts and some exercises if he passed the remaining test. She is sure Sun Yun can overcome it. The Sword Light Emperor lightly tapped Sun Yun's forehead. Sun Yun had not yet understood what the Sword Light Emperor meant and was taken to the Martial Arts Hall of Heaven. And here, there is only one person who can receive the martial arts left behind by the Sword Light Emperor. Sun Yun looked at the sword. He asked Cheng Wu, where is this? Cheng Wu didn't answer him but asked to look ahead. In front of him was a competition between two fake challengers. The unequal battle quickly had results. The victory went to the girl with pale purple hair. Cheng Wu stared at her. She felt that this woman was full of blood. Sun Yun immediately suspected that this girl was a genius. Cheng Wu wasn't sure, but maybe so, she suddenly turned her head to look at Sun Yun. With just one glance from her, Sun Yun couldn't stand the pressure. Cheng Wu reminded him, it's best to be careful, with just one mistake, Sun Yun could die here. The girl slowly opened her mouth and asked Sun Yun, when did you come here to fight me? Or are you looking for the martial arts of the Sword Light Emperor? Sun Yun didn't answer her questions, making her feel extremely uncomfortable. Sun Yun didn't want to drink the wine he offered, but wanted to drink the wine as punishment. She didn't move around, she moved quickly, with just a snap of her fingers she could cut off Sun Yun's head. At that moment, the unique effect of the S plus nameless god's protective bracelet was activated. The bracelet blocked an unstoppable move, and Sun Yun could still use it three more times. Sun Yun quickly stepped back. Luckily he had the protective arms of the unknown god. Otherwise his body would have been cold and motionless on the ground right now. For the first time in her life, the girl saw someone survive her slash, and she began to feel interested in Sun Yun. This girl is really interesting. She is more excited than ever, proactively rushing towards Sun Yun. Even though she is a girl, she is extremely strong. Just one swing of the sword can repel Sun Yun. You've always told me. I have no interest in saying my name to someone who rushes to kill me as soon as I meet them. The girl thought about it and realized that it was true. She also did not like that type of person. She took back her sword and introduced herself to Sun Yun. She is the greatest person of the demon road who has defeated many challengers and is the one who stands above them all. No matter how long she has been, she is still a devil. The opponent Sun Yun is facing right now is a heavenly devil. The indomitable will skill is activated. The experimental battlefield warrior myth is activated. And the special support rock wheel pearl is activated. Now Sun Yun understands why Cheng Wu said she was full of blood. Heavenly demons attack Sun Yun. She has already befriended him. She will give him a painful death. She told Sun Yun a story. She rose to the position of leader by killing the current leader. And after that, there was no one left on the wanderer who was her opponent. Sun Yun's appearance made the angel evoke dormant emotions. She really wanted to see how far Sun Yun could go. The things that came out of the devil's mouth made Sun Yun extremely disgusted. 
He, like her, also wanted to become stronger, but above all, there was a line he could never cross. Instead of committing a crime to become stronger, he would rather die. Sun Yun was extremely angry at this time. His unique power of dragon transformation was activated.